Nobody warned me about this game. Oh my god. Upgrade your car, repair some things, and go on some nice, pleasant road trips. I gotta drive into that? That doesn't look safe. It doesn't look safe. It doesn't look safe. It doesn't look safe. It doesn't look safe. Hold on. Sure. There's some anomaly stuff happening, but it's not that bad. Can I have it? Glittering boulder. <gasps> oh, crap. That's good. Oh. It will be a chill vibe, a great game to relax to. Oh my god, I'm actually not gonna make it. No! No, 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 no! After all, it's just a driving game. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. What was once a beautiful countryside is now a dangerous, mysterious, and downright beautiful amalgamation of roads and freaky alien things. Thanks to experiments gone wrong, an exclusion zone was set up in the form of a massive wall called the Olympic Exclusion Zone. You did not want to be inside this zone. And it's exactly where we ended up, but before we get there, we got our first look at our beautiful new surroundings. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. Oh, light shafts. I'm a sucker for light shafts, let me tell you. Let me tell you something, I'm a sucker for light shafts. I suppose actually I should figure out the, the car. Do I need to do anything? Oh. Lights on. Wipers on. Oh, I can actually control on the steering wheel. I rate that. No horn, though. Maybe there is. I don't know. Parked. Oh. It's a... It's a... Um, a... Yeah, it's an auto automatic. <laughs> Putting aside the knowledge that I was now driving a peasantry automatic car, we followed the winding road until a clearing in the trees gave way to a massive structure. <laughs> this is dope. Is that a dam? It's a dam. That's a big dam, right? No, that's a massive building. Oh, no, that's the wall that the intro was telling me about, wasn't it? For the uh, Olympic exclusion zone. You ever used to do that thing when you were a kid? And he was sat in the back. And does it have it? It does. You can maybe see it out of that window a little bit better. But you'd watch the raindrops go on the, the window pane. And you would you would have like a favorite raindrop. And you'd have a... I say you would have a race. There'd be a race between two. And you'd follow your rain, rain drop, your, uh, your raindrop all the way down. Things we used to do eh, as kids. Carrying on down the twisting road. We eventually came closer to the wall. Here, there were some derelict looking buildings, as well as a sign directing us off the road. We took a turn left, and everything else took a turn for the worse. Oh, I'm skidding about a bit here. For a second, I thought my graphics card was shit in the bed. <gasps> What was that? <laughs> it's been a while since I played a horror game. It's not a horror game. It's not a horror game. Everything's fine. I'm just having a little drive in the Pacific Northwest. This is going to be totally fine. Yeah. What the hell? What are these? It's like glitches. Anomalies. That's probably a better word, isn't it? Anomalies. Are we going to drive through? Yeah. What happens if we drive through one? Test it. Speed. Nothing. I can't drive through it. Oh, this is weird. Everything's fine, right? Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Where is my rear view mirror, by the way? There's more. So there's more of these as we get deeper into the exclusion zone. I'm <laughs> I've been EMP'd. I've been EMP'd. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <gasps> I've been sucked in. Game where I'm just 
driving about, maybe a little bit spooky here and there. I have spat so much shit on my monitor. But it, I'm fine. That caught me completely off guard. I hope I've woken nobody up. What the hell? Oh, no. I got so I got so scared. I gripped my mouse, and that's my DPI button, and I accidentally tripled my DPI. <laughs> it's not the game. It was me. Oh, sprint. Do I have to be doing much of that? What about you guys? But I'm uh, I'm really tired. The uh, the ambience, the atmosphere here is really adorable. Yeah, I can't come up with one for that. Maybe I need to start thinking outside the box. <laughs> we had been sucked through some sort of anomaly wormhole that has put us right inside the Olympic exclusion zone. This place was half real world, half a blend of reality and dream. Further down the path, we saw some flashing lights when all of a sudden, a voice called out to us. Kick. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. I prefer Twitch myself. These jokes need to stop right now. We've got a flashing oh. light. Someone out there? Tobias! Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 me! Never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. At first, we thought Tobias was talking to us from the real world, but he was in fact talking to us from a transmitter in the car. Speaking of a car, this heap of junk was supposedly my ticket out of here. The car was missing a wheel, and the game took us through how to put one on. And then I just need to install some attire. Oh, wait, so you, there's going to be different, um, different types of tires. Oh, so this is from Ironwood Studios, who are very, very kindly provided me with a with a key to have a bit of a play before this is released in February. And they say that they love the Pacific Northwest, which is Seattle, which is the never eat shredded wheat Northwest region of America. And they also love cars. And this is what this game is about. So I presume that the mechanics are actually going to be quite detailed. Oh, it's the radio. Ah, oh. Oh, signal. Yes, it's back. It's Hello. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put the car in drive. Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? Yeah. Uh, I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. Uh, it looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Oh, oh, I can drive. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whoa, my car is pulling heavy to the right. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you got me? Whoa, it's well pulling to the right. Hello? 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 Oh, wait, I can't talk, can I? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. Ah, uh, that would be why. Oh, this thing's a pig. But if they're stranded... Ah! Did they from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did they get the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about if we don't get the position, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. You close the shelter is a few miles east. Get there however east. you can. And east. Be quick about it. I have a compass on my car. Okay, we gotta go east. It's telling me to go east. I know what the game's done. The game's given me a... a a car in perfect working condition. It's then taken it away from me. And put me in this heap of shit. I didn't mean that. I'm sure this is fine. Wait. Oh, shit. Check. Put it in park. Put it in park. All right. Okay. So we've got to get out. <laughs> How do I get out? Oh, just like that. Shit. Oh, we need to do this quickly. Take fuel can. That's a fuel can? Oh, ah. Oh, you. Which side? Which side's the fuel thing on? Oh, siphon fuel from the broken down car. Over this way. Is there going to be anything left in this? Oh, shit. Do I click or do I hold? Do I click or do I hold? I think I hold. Oh, yeah, hold. Look, I should probably look at my screen. And then we put it in. Oh, God. Yeah, this is beat up. It's like, um, it kind of reminds me of um, the Simpsons car. No? No? Ooh. 
That sounds like me after um, a 20 chicken nugget box and a large vanilla milkshake. Go. What's that noise? Ah! Shit. Oh, this is freaky. This is freaky. Oh. Go left. Go left. I tell you, it's <laughs> it pulls to the right so much. Oh, we got to go. What's the remnant? Whilst Tobias and his friend debated if this car was indeed a remnant, whatever the hell that meant, I battled with the car as we carried on down the track. Eventually, we pulled up to a garage which, unlike most of the other buildings we had seen so far, looked in pretty good condition. Flip the breaker switch. Okay. I want this goo to get off my face. Where's the breaker? The breaker. What the hell? Splinter cell. Where's the breaker? If I was a breaker, where would I be? We found the breaker, turned it on, and then an old grumpy lady appeared in our ear holes. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... She pretty much told us that we weren't welcome here, until Tobias interrupted her with an emergency broadcast and told her that we were a breacher, an outsider that had made their way into the exclusion zone. After looking around for a bit, we ended up picking up these splinter cell goggles, which gave us some sort of intelligent heads up display about the things around us. Oppie, the grumpy lady, reluctantly told us that she would help us find our way out of here by fixing up the car. This garage would operate as our would be base and operations center. Here, we could repair the car, craft things we needed, and prepare for our trips out into the unknown. We pulled the car into the garage and got to work. The game had an awesome inventory system and UI design. Think like Escape from Tarkov. Oppie took us through the basics of repairing the car, which was highly detailed. From what we could see, the panels, doors, tires, all could be repaired and even upgraded. And this was only skimming the surface from what we would find out later. We were given the tools that would help us dismantle other cars, giving us resources in return, and we would then use these resources to craft anything that was required. In the boot, or for any North American that's a trunk, we could build a storage system as well as a mini sort of workbench. A lot here, here, and then this one as well. I'll get this repaired. Crude bumper, yeah, that's got a little smidgen. Oh. Mel Melik Halftime Washington, 1947. Melik. Melik. Melissa. Melissa, there we go. This is my car, Melissa. Because obviously, uh, you, you, nothing bad ever comes from getting emotionally attached to inanimate objects in video games, ever. Next up, we installed an ARC device. I wasn't quite sure what this was, but it did come with a map system that we could use while driving. Soon after, we were making the final preparations to go on an adventure, which included pumping the car full of gas and recharging the battery. Before you knew it, we were rolling out of the garage, ready to explore. Oh, how fast does this thing go? Oh wait, am I meant to stop here? Oh, am I safe to... Wait, what's going on here? Oh, select like the next stop. That's where I wanted to go. Klim for gateway. Oh, we're traveling. Junction E5, radio station, residential damp forest outer zone. That's a weird name for a radio station. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Thank you, need genuinely. A few to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. Plasma. With plasma so now we had a quest to get some plasma. Apparently, there were some containers out here, and Oppie had given me the task of collecting some. Right, I don't care if I die. I don't want my car to get damaged at all. So I'm gonna go on foot. Oh, I need this, right? Plasma. Plasma. Ah, uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Okay. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Do I have one? I don't... Did I have an impact hammer? No, I had the blueprint. I had the blueprint, right? Uh, impact hammer. 
Now, every natural resource can be carefully extracted. Sometimes you just need to pneumatically assisted brute force. This captive bolt um, device is ideal for f fracturing crystals, dislodging deposits, and just smashing. So I needed a two gears, a gas cylinder, and some scrap metal. All right, the scrap metal that we've got, because we've got it in the back here. We can see here, we've got four of them. I don't have the gears that I need, though. If we have a look here, I need uh, impact hammer. Okay, so I need two gears and one gas cylinder. Uh, we'll maybe go and um, take this car apart for the uh, for the gears. This is freaky. Look at you, out in the zone, After you taking the car apart and looting these two buildings, we were unable to find any gears. That's when we remembered we could just craft them. So using the back of the boot, we were able to craft the impact Thanks. hammer to get the plasma. I'm sure this is going to go fine. Swat! Copper wire, glass shards, plasma. There we go. Uh, I guess I do both while I'm here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, what is that? What is that? What the? What is that? Oh, don't like that. That, that looks like what's the name? Um, the 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 servant thing from Fallout Four. Uh, the the posh posh guy, really, you know, the really really posh one. He better not be chasing me. He better not be chasing me. He better not be chasing me. No, we're good. Oh shit. Ooh. Yes, yes. Four out of five bits. Four out of five. Oh shit. She rolls. Get out. Oh. Oh. Am I safe here? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. It's hurting me. For the cause, for the cause. Great, good, great, good. All right. We've got two bits. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. Okay. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. Uh, antenna tower up on a hill. Okay, there. Bet, bet, bet. Pin waypoint. All right, so now I need to go. Which way? Zoom out a bit. Oh, just follow it around to the right. Okay. I can read maps. I can read maps. We're fine. I get definitely get. Look at that. It's like a wall of northern lights, but not as friendly. We got gas. Do I need to stop off for gas? No, I don't think so. That, that's just like another station, I think. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh. oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, what the? <gasps> Did I just run somebody over? What the hell? Oh, he grabbed me. Oh, is the car okay? Is the car okay? Is he gone? The oh, I've got mirror. I've got mirror. Holy hell. <laughs> Incoming transmission. By who? Logbook. Where? Escaping the weird looking wrecking ball throwing anomaly, we kept on driving towards our waypoint of the antenna. Big Dan's. Thank you, Big Dan's. Thank you for the bumper. Oh, there's a little house there. Need a guide. YOLO. Oh shit, heebie jeebies. There's a robot thing over there. Quick, quick, quick. Oh! Oh, I don't know. It's giving me the proper chest. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, it's proper giving me the heebie. Heebie jeebies. <gasps> All right, get out of here. Go. Watch the tree. Watch the tree. Watch the tree. <gasps> That's what I ran over before. Are they real people or are they mannequins? 
the crash test dummies. Oh, no, 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 no. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Next right. Yeah, this right here. Look. Oh, off road. All right. Watch the paint. Watch the paint. Watch the paint. This is so, I love having the mini map down here. Look how cool it looks though. I, it's kind of like, oh, they're creepy. Markiplier's going to hate that. He hates um, mannequins, doesn't he? Um, it's kind of like a back to the future-y kind of vibe with the car. Honestly, the, the game it looks so pretty and the ambience and the atmosphere. I just love the way that it looks. Does that mean that I'm here? All right, we've got a broadcast transmitter. Oh, collect parts. All right, we don't broadcast the transmitter. I suppose the transmitter does the broadcast. No, we're needing the broadcast transmitter. I don't know what that replaced parts is. Collect materials and craft replacement parts. Okay. And just in general for the car? How, how, are we doing okay for fuel here? I think. Oh. Broadcast transmitter. I got Time one. Oh, Jesus. Ticking up by the second. I wanted to loot. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. Oh. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. Ah. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. Garage? Do that, you'll need anchors. Do you mean garage? Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Oh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Wait, can I not get on the roof? So to get back to the garage, we couldn't simply drive back. We had to charge the ARC device that we installed on the car, and this somehow would get us back home? YOLO! Through the trees, as the crow flies. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh my God. Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. I'm filled with regret. Filled with... No, we're good. I think. Is it... Was this the... This is it. Yeah. What do I do? Take the anchor. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Okay. Don't be scared. Stay blanket. in anyone's face. What? Oh, and then I put it in here. Let me back in my car. I do not feel safe outside of it. Now what? Collect anchors until the arc device is fully charged. What the? There's more? Something's behind me, I feel. Right, we've got to turn around. Shit. Oh! It, it's mechanical, but it's leaking something viscous. That's viscous. Oh, it's car parts. It's... It's viscous car parts. Just go. Get away from it. Get away from it. No, oh, no, 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 no. It's that thing again. It's got a magnet on me. Oh! Hold on! Jesus! I did not want to go... Oh, wait, no. I do want to go this way. That was actually a good thing. That was a good idea. So I think they're, like, attracted to metal or something. Give me that. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm nervous. Oh, arc charge. Wait, what? Oh, did we get enough? The right, device is charged and ready. Okay. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you are absolutely ready to leave. You do <sighs> not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Okay, are we... There's a house up here, though. Can I go look at the house first before we do that? Just take everything. Anything from the trolleys, dear? We'll, we'll, we'll take the lot. Backpack. All right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it, game. I get it. You want me to leave? All right, bet. Right, what do I do? Map coordinates. Link gateway hold. Which one? Which one? YOLO, that one. Drive? You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Yes! Drive into it. 
Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's oh. so much better than getting scrambled by the next time. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. oh no 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 no! Shit! I'm fine. I could drive, honestly, I have a license. I gotta drive into that? That doesn't look safe, it doesn't look safe, it doesn't look safe, it doesn't look safe, it doesn't look safe, hold on! It doesn't look safe! <laughs> Flashback. And we're back here! It was safe. Somehow, both myself and Melissa had survived our maiden voyage out into the unknown. Next up, we spent some time repairing the car and crafting some useful things with the supplies that we had gathered. Now that we had the impact hammer, we were able to unlock another room in the garage, which led us to a computer which unlocked access to a sort of skill tree system. But instead of skills, there were items and modifications for the car. Speaking of skills though, they weren't left out as there were skills that you could unlock for the car, the first of which being the trusty handbrake. Now that the antenna was set up, Oppie sent us out on another errand, and this time we were zapped to a different location. Oh, <laughs> I am going to massively regret this, aren't I? <laughs> Wedding Rome? Okay. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, are we ready? Floor it. Oh, God, we're at 72% health. <laughs> A little bit more speed. I need more speed. I don't think this is very fast. All right. Uh, scan five anomalies, anomalies or resources is what we need. Uh, I guess we go like there. So if we go like straight on here. I think that's everything. Oh, wait. I'm meant to scan you. Four. And five. Dictaphone recording. Officer of Dr. Richard Preble. Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several different regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas engines on the roof, on top of signs. One report here says on the roof we spotted about 600 now. Oh, you're quite right about the other thing too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. Oh my god, what's that? What's that? It's a, it, it's a tumbleweed. Get, get me back in the car. Oh wait, I need to scan another one. Or is it just different types? Yeah, it's different types, different types. So we need to find a different anomaly or somehow. I'd imagine that tumbleweed's an, anom an anomaly. I don't really want to go there. I don't know if this is safe. Oh, it's not. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt. I need to put some of this in the trunk. Shit. Danger, 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 danger. I know, I know. Can I not? Yeah, there we go. Can I touch you? Can I scan you? Scan, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm on 64% health. I know you can't see because I'm in the way. Okay. What's... What is that? To feed anchors to the until it's, satisfied. it's like a, she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. A nugget. That is a nugget. It's like a golden nugget. Get it. Can I have it? Glittering boulder. <gasps> oh shit, that's scary. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> what the fuck? I was not expecting that, man. I, I fully recoiled then. <laughs> Talk about immersion. I am in the game right now. I'm in it. <laughs> I 
Oh, this is brilliant. This is... This is fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me it, please. All right, put you in there. 57% health. Oh, shit. All right, recommended. Open a gateway using the arc device. Shit, how do we do that again? Uh, it was on here, right? Wait, what's that? Link gateway. What did I need to do again? Where, where am I supposed to drive? Oh shit, wrong way. There, there. Oh god, the storm. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, I maybe picked the wrong place. I don't think I have the horsepower to get up here. And there's a big storm coming. Ah, come on, up the hill. Please, please. Is there gears in this fucking thing? Come on, please, please. Come on! Please, 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 please. Oh no, no! Oh! Shit, shit. It's too steep, it's too steep. The storm's coming in, it's too steep. Go this way. Left! Come on, for the love of God. Come on, <laughs> no, no one's stressed. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to need you to go a little bit faster here. There we go. Just get over this bit and we're fine. Oh, it's so slow. It's so slow. It's so... There we go. Right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh! Speed. Watch the trees. Watch the trees. Watch the nugget as well. Watch the trees and watch the nugget. Oh no. Oh no, there's another hill. Come on. All the speed we can muster. Oh my god, that's so fucking awesome. Look at that, man. Come on. Oh shit. Oh no, we're skidding. We're skidding. We're skidding. We're not gonna make it. We're not we're not gonna make it. What's going on? What's going on? I'm actually not going to make it. Get up the hill! No! No, 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 no! No! It's not moving! The car's not moving! It doesn't let me go! Shit! Shit, shit, come on, come on, Melissa, come on! Come on, you can do it, you can do it! You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Vehicle protection compromise, you don't say. Come on! I need you to go fast this way. Was that? Come on! Come on, come on. Faster. It's so slippy and slidey here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Come on, please. No, no. No! My health's going down 15, 14. No! Can I push? Can I push? Oh shit, no, no, that way. No, no. Shit, get in the car, get in the car. There's no way. I'm, there's no way. Two. No! Oh. <laughs> Our second trip had ended in disaster. Melissa was beat up and all my loot was gone. My car's in absolute pieces, man. Everything. Did I lost everything? Oh, no. Right, hold up. I need a... There we go. Yeah, get me to full health. Jesus, right. Dumpster, search the dumpster. Uh, activate the driver's checklist. Find your way into town. Right, okay. Oh, it's giving me stuff. 
all right okay okay <laughs> the, the game has officially felt sorry for me and it's like here you go butch here you go take these items I'm, I'm like just please don't cry i'm like okay I'll, I'll do my best not to cry i seem to be spending a lot of time in this garage repairing melissa so she could drive in a straight line still I won't lie, repairing Melissa was incredibly satisfying and there were certainly worse things I could be doing. We decided to head back out again, this time to a different location. My task was to get to a specific town, but to get there I had to go through another town. At least that's what I thought anyway. So I think if we go just follow this all the way down, let's go, yeah we'll have a look and see what's what that is. I think that might take us to Serum. Oh my god, she's pulling... Why is she pulling to the right so much? Oh, sweet Jesus. What's going on here? I thought she was all repaired. Oh, this is... This is gonna be... This is gonna be a rough one, troops. Strap yourselves in. It's gonna be ugly. But it should be fine, because, theoretically, if I don't get distracted and I... St oh, what the hell? Nope. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Nothing to see. No matter how interesting anything looks, stay on the road. That's red. Oh, shit. Something is in my ear hole. Oh, okay. Right down here, just just follow the main road. Follow the main road. Oh shit, the mannequins. I don't think I'm supposed to run them over. So let's just keep going around. I would really like to be able to do this in the daytime as well. That would be preferable. But everything I've done so far has just been in the night. Don't take a shortcut. Don't go off road. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? What? That's arc energy, but I don't think I need it. I, I just want to see... Oh, I don't like this. I just want to see what happens when we go through the thing. Come on. Oh, oh shit. And, and then left? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for the wheel of death to go by. And then we go. And I think this will take us to Serum. I hope. I don't know. It maybe looks like it. Oh, yeah, look takes us to this thing again and then from here we're here no this is where we need to go we're here and we need to go there serum oh am i gonna be low on fuel am i gonna be low on fuel oh it's raining god sierra Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Why? Edor Town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Wait, I gotta... Oh, for the love of God. I gotta drive to um, a scenic overlook. You really... Th oh, you really think I'm gonna be able to... Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my lights keep going out. That's not me turning them off. As the light's just giving up. Oh. Okay, no, we let's just drive. Let's just drive. Let's just drive. Let's just drive. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest hunger anomaly in the zone? You want to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that oh, car? Oh, shit. This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Who's Cappy? I'm guessing I'm going to go to... I feel like I've been used as a human meat shield here. Driver, are you sure about this? 
No? Well, that'll be fine. Head into town. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Why do I not get a say in this? Oh. Shit. Shit. Oh. Uh. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> this is heavy, heavy rain. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Relax. Shoulders back. Up, oh, back and down. Oh. oh, you are having a giggle. You are having a giggle. <sighs> Come on, Melissa. Let's do this. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Get some speed. All right. In three, two, one. Go, 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 go. I don't know if this is fast enough. Oh, okay, nice. Wait, is that what I'm going to? You want me to drive? Oh, wait, no, look. Uh, we can go round to the right, I think, here. Yeah, look, here's the track. Jesus Christ, what is this War of the Worlds noises? I don't <laughs> like this one bit. <laughs> Do not like this. <coughs> Oh, this is so dope, though. The noises. It's kind of... It's kind of like... Sh Stranger Things meets... Need for Speed. Am I meant to do this? No response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cabby's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? Uh, right, okay, so if we go underneath and round, that's going to be fine, right? I can go underneath it, I think. Yeah, follow the track round. Is, am I on, am I on the road? Oh, here it is. This is a road. This is a road. This is definitely a road. Okay, I found it. We're okay. We're okay, troops. We're okay. Everything's okay. Everything's going to be fine. I hope. The car's flashing a lot of red at me at the moment. Oh, no. Wait, what? Okay. Go. Oh, my God. No, oh, no, 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 no. That's... That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm very sorry. Car's still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about a, a launching the car into Cappy's <laughs> car? Oh, oh, you uh, what? I'm, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> no, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say, what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Yeah, so what? Exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way. Yeah, you got this kid for it. Oh, God. Right, open the barricade from the control tower. Is this the control tower? Uh, here. This, I'm guessing. And that opens the bar. Yes, okay. Uh, launch into the anomaly. So you just want me to full send with a car that is a sneeze away from death. Go. Shit. Oh. 
I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just trying to get it to turn right. There we go. Right. Don't give up. Don't give up on me now. Come on, Melissa. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Alive and what? I, um, my transmission systems. Thought oh. I lost you for a moment. You, you didn't sound panicked at all. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway oh. got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data recorded from your drive. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And oh, my plan it has a mind of its own. Cappy amplified the car signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, okay. what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having oh. sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. Shit. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game <laughs> to get you out of here. Why is it moving? The you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Okay, right. That was a absolute ah, shit show. So far leads to a way out. Why don't you oh. head back out and chart some more? You can I'm... get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Okay, fine. But I'm st I'm st <gasps> No! <laughs> no! Oh, no! I want to play more. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no! Oh, I was actually so ready to go back out. I was so ready to go back out. Um, oh, <laughs> look how beat she is. Look, <laughs> I didn't think we were going to do that. I truly didn't think that we were going to do that. Look how bad everything is. Wow. Honestly, though, I can truly say what an absolute blast that is. I've never played a game like this before. It's kind of just kind of a, a, a roguelike survival semi open world in the sense that you can <clears throat> you can drive about. It looks like you can have like you, you, with your blueprints with with this thing here. The, these I don't know. I see them as kind of like skill points that you can level up. Look how many there are as well. That's absolute. Oh, oh my God. There's oh, what the f there's even more. So th this is <laughs> what is this path of exile? There's, there's so much to this game. I hope that's come across. There is so much in this game and there is going to be so much to do that you're going to be able to build upon. I don't know if you can get different cars or whether you're going to be stuck with one car throughout the entire playthrough and you just build on it. But it's it's honestly uh, insane. It runs flawlessly. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I've genuinely had a blast. I went into this not knowing what to expect. I didn't really have any expectations. I just kind of get went in with a blank canvas and... It's blown my mind. Hey, listen, a massive thank you to Ironwood Studios. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to play this game a little bit early. Um, that's insane. Uh, I feel very, very privileged and incredibly grateful to be given this opportunity. Guys, make sure you get this wish listed on Steam. It is releasing the full release of the game in February 22nd. So we've got a little bit of time to kind of stew, think about it, miss it, and ready for release. But guys, most importantly, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. I'm so sorry for what I put you through.